Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. In Islam, the concept of the evil eye, known as Al Ain in Arabic or Nazar in Turkish, refers to the belief that a person can cause harm, illness, or misfortune to others simply by looking at them with envy or jealousy. This belief is based on the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who mentioned the evil eye in various hadiths and advised his followers to seek protection from it. To protect oneself from the evil eye, Muslims are encouraged to recite specific prayers and verses from the Quran, such as Surah Al-Falaq, chapter 113, and Surah An-Nas, chapter 114, which are believed to provide spiritual protection. It's important to note that while the belief in the evil eye is widespread in many Muslim communities, its interpretation and practices can vary among different cultures and scholars. Some Islamic scholars emphasize the importance of seeking protection through faith and prayer, while others caution against relying too heavily on superstitious beliefs and practices. Here are a few hadiths that provide guidance on Al Ain, evil eye. Abu Huraira reported, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the influence of an evil eye is a fact. If anything would precede the destiny, it would be the influence of an evil eye. And when you are asked to take bath as a cure from the influence of an evil eye, you should take bath. Sahih Muslim. Abdullah ibn Abbas reported, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Verily the evil eye is real, and if anything were to overtake the divine decree, it would be the evil eye. When you are asked to take a bath to provide a cure, from the influence of the evil eye you should take a bath. Sahih Muslim. These hadiths highlight the Prophet Muhammad's, peace be upon him, acknowledgement of the reality of the evil eye. They suggest that the harmful effects of the evil eye can manifest before the destined time, indicating its potential to cause harm. The prescription of taking a bath, often referred to as rukya, as a cure from the influence of the evil eye, underscores the seriousness with which Muslims should treat this matter. The bath is not merely a physical cleansing, but is believed to have a spiritual effect, providing protection and removing the harmful effects of the evil eye. Regarding Quranic verses that are recited for protection, Surah Al-Falaq chapter 113 and Surah An-Nas chapter 114 are commonly recited for this purpose. These two chapters are known as the Mu'awwida, or the chapters of seeking refuge with Allah from evil. Muslims believe that reciting these verses can provide spiritual protection from various forms of harm, including the evil eye. May Allah protect us from the evil eye. Amin.